Happy Monday. I am so exhausted. I got no sleep last night and I've been having really bad insomnia. So I haven't been vlogging as much recently because I've just been so tired and I'm trying to figure that out. But aside from that, I'm going to get a lymphatic drainage massage for the first time today. I'm so excited. I've never gotten one before and I've always wanted to. It's called, there's a place in Mount Pleasant called New Body Sculpt and I am just really excited to just like relax and I don't know how relaxing it is actually, but I know that I'll feel depuffed after. I feel like I've been drinking the past two weekends a lot more than I typically would. So I haven't felt the best overall sleep-wise, bloated, all the things. So it'll be good. It'll be like a little reset. It's currently Thursday and I just realized I never came back on here and talked about the lymphatic drainage massage. It was amazing. I'm gonna start incorporating that at least once a month. It's so worth it. I felt so, I've just, I'm such an inflamed person because of autoimmune stuff that I'm trying to figure out and my gut health, I'm always bloated. It's just not fun, but it made me feel just like tight around my stomach and my legs and I just felt so, I felt healthy. I felt like I was supposed to feel, so it was really good. And um, the day after I got it though, I did feel super fatigued and I kind of, she told me I was gonna have flu-like symptoms and I totally did. I was so tired yesterday. I was taking Chuck on a walk with Harry and I was passed out. I was so tired. I had to go back home after like 20 minutes of walking. So that part, she said it was normal for people whenever you get your first one, but then she said you'll your body will start to get used to it, but it's crazy the effects that it has on your body. Like it really does work. So I definitely recommend if you're interested. It's um, if you're in Charleston, it's New Body in Mount Pleasant. And I got the sculpt one and it was amazing. They did my face, stomach, and legs. Loved that. And now um, today I am going to clean up a bit and just deep clean the apartment, do my laundry. Oh, I have a gut health appointment with a holistic doctor that I'm so excited about. I've been putting this off for forever. I've been going to doctors, but not um, holistic ones. So I'm really excited for this. I have a consultation with her on Zoom and we're gonna kind of go over everything that I've been experiencing. And then I'll probably get some blood work done in the next week or two. But yeah, and then I think after I do just some house stuff, I'm just gonna work. I guess we'll just get some stuff done on the computer and have a more relaxed day because I don't have a ton to do. I just ordered Instacart and it should be here any minute. My appointment is in about an hour and so I think I'm gonna go get my groceries and I'm gonna try and meal prep some things for this week. Chuck is napping so hard right now on the couch it's so cute <laughs> hello i just got my groceries i have to i bring this cart down there every time i go or whenever i do instacart i try to go to the grocery store as much as i can but i've been instacarting lately and it is filled to the brim i thought we could do a little grocery haul oh my gosh it's so dark in here okay so i just got 
toilet paper and paper towel, which like, is not fun. Okay, this is the thing I don't like about Instacart is I'll get something and then sometimes they'll give me something completely different. So yeah, that's what they did with these. These are carrots and broccoli florets, but I didn't order these, <laughs> whatever. And then, oh, another bag of them. Mushrooms, organic green beans, three bags. Oh wait, and organic broccoli, zucchini, Carrots, ooh, pineapple. I've been trying to buy a whole pineapple and just cut it because it's so much cheaper, but I was tempted and so I got the slices. This one. Then I got organic blueberries, strawberries, grapes. Gala apples are my favorite in the entire world and no one really likes these because they're not crunchy. But I don't really like my apples crunchy, is that weird? I kind of like them when they're when they're soft. I don't know how to explain it. It sounds gross, but I just, I don't know. Unpopular opinion. Um, and then I got two organic sweet potatoes. These are huge. Oh my okay, God. I actually got more than I thought I did. Um, organic spinach, some plums. I love plums. And it's finally about to be plum season. Uh, I really like this angel hair heart of palm pasta. I've been eating it too much, honestly. It's just so easy to make. And it's so good. I can, I'll do a little video on how I make it. It's so good. Some egg whites. And then I got this dark um, Hershey powder because I want to make some desserts with it. I used to do that all the time in college and they were so good. Um, lemon juice. I use this to cook with. And then some bananas. I think this is everything. Let me see. Oh, I didn't really Instacart with a purpose. I just kind of got stuff that looked good. And usually I try to meal prep, but I can figure out how to put a lot of this together. I feel like this is like my go-tos. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Hey, nice to meet you. You too, I'm just figure. I mean, I'm just finishing up the questionnaire. Perfect, yeah, thank you for doing that. I thought it automatically. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it is Friday and I just got these LED lights in my bathroom and I thought that they would make my bathroom lighting really good but it kind of looks like hospital lighting like it makes me look ill and I was just I just laid out in the sun for so long and I look so pale still but it's fine anyways I tanned today for like three hours and then i took chuck on like three walks i keep going outside because it feels so good but now it's kind of getting cloudy so i took all of my bathing suits out and i have a humongous bucket i was gonna dump them all out but i don't think i'm gonna do that anymore because chuck is gonna eat them but i'm cleaning them out and i feel like this could be fun to do get your opinions because I don't really know what ones I want to clean out um okay so this one I'm not cleaning out I like that one I'll just show you the ones that I'm iffy about how about that that one I like okay so this one I'm iffy about I need to find the bottom so see I should, probably should dump this out okay I'm gonna dump it out mm. I don't know what to do Oh my god, I look so bad. We're gonna clean out my bathing suits. Um, I have so many. And I'm gonna have, I'm, I've made a little pile of the ones that I'm questionable about that I don't think I like, that I think I'm gonna get rid of, but I'm iffy. I'm a very indecisive person. So I need some help. What do we think? I think I wanna keep this one, but I'm also not a fan of the one shoulder bathing suit look on me. It's, this one's from Free People. Copper and zinc, but it's like the terry cloth material kind of, I think. And then the bottoms are high-waisted, and I don't know how I feel about high-waisted bottoms anymore either. Oh, they go like this. Um, so this is in the maybe pile. I might keep it. Oh, this is why I have so many. Um next we have this. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be all over the place, but whatever. I have this one. It's a sparkly beach riot. Um bikini top and there's high-waisted bottoms. I used to love this bikini, but I just don't 
I don't know if sparkles are my thing anymore with bikinis. And then I have this Aztec print. Now these are super, super flattering. So that's why I've kept them for so long, but I know the print is just like not it, but they're so cute. But like, is this print, can I make this cute? I don't think I could, but I'm hoping somebody says yes. And then this one, I don't know, I'm probably gonna sell this one. This one's super flattering too. I just don't really know if I would wear it. And then these are the bottoms. Help. Okay, so I got this for Love and Lemons one. I wore it one time and I have not worn it since and I don't like it. I don't think it's flattering on me. But I also don't want to sell it for some reason. That's why I still have it. So please help. Should I sell this? I think I could, I don't know. Okay, so this bikini top I really like, but I think I'm gonna sell it because I, my friend's dog chewed the bottoms like forever ago, and I just have not gotten rid of it because I haven't accepted that the bottoms are wrong. And it's not really a good one to mix match because it's this like light purple and pink color, and I cannot find any bottoms to match it. Um, this, I'm keeping. Tie dye, okay, so this bikini, I love how flattering it is but I don't like the tie dye at all whatsoever. It's this like pink yellow tie dye. I don't know, with my bikinis, I'm trying to be a little more plain. So this is why I'm doing this. I really wanna re refresh all of my bikinis this summer and keep them very minimal because I don't wanna buy a bunch of bikinis like I normally do. I spend so much money on bikinis every year and I don't wanna do that this summer. I'm trying to be responsible. And so that means a lot of these prints are gonna have to go because you just can't mix match them. I just don't think so. Okay, this is the um, the Bondi brand. They look really small, but they stretch out. There's like one size fits all. I really like this bathing suit, but this is like a very hot pink. I'm gonna keep it. I really like it. Okay, these, I just don't really love the pattern of these, but I force myself to like it every time because they're cherries. So yeah, these are like the most flattering bikini bottoms I own. I think it's from Lovers and Friends, yeah. I love these because I love when bikinis give you that V shape. It makes you look more snatched, fun fact. But I just don't like this print at all. So I really want lovers and friends to make this exact bikini, but just an all white and black in every color, solid. That would be amazing. I really like this one. I don't know where the top is to this. I lost the top, but I love these bottoms. It's such a weird color that I haven't been able to find the top. All these are so flattering but I just don't think I like the prints anymore. Like I love these bottoms, but I don't know. I'm probably gonna sell them because I'm also trying not to be as cheeky maybe, maybe. Okay, I think I'm gonna sell this. Ah, uh, I don't know, I don't want to. Is this too neon? I think it is. Yeah, this is glowing in my camera right now. I'm, we're gonna have to sell that. Remember these bottoms? I feel like these were such a thing. The acacia, I think it's acacia. Yeah, the acacia bottoms. I don't even know what bikini this is, but we're getting rid of her too. Like, I don't have boobs, I don't know why I have that. Okay, I think I like this pattern still. See? Oh, we need to go potty. This is one of my favorite bikinis ever. It's by the brand Juliet or Juliet. I got it from Revolve, and it's these bottoms, and they're like mid-rise. They look high-rise, but they're not super high-rise. Love this pattern. And then the top, Chuck's barking. It's just this. Um, this. This is the top, but so cute. Oh, I also love this bikini. It's from the brand Julia as well. They have really good bikinis. I have to tie it in the back though because it doesn't fit me. Why is he barking? It's this eyelet light blue top one. Chuck with this mid-rise, mid-rise bottom. Oh my gosh, my favorite bikini brand in the entire world actually is this brand, Mott's, Mott's. I love Mott's bikinis, they are so cute to me. And I have another one down here. Oh, this is Mott's too. I'm gonna keep this because although it's not super plain, I think that this is a good just vacation one, you know, like fun, it's different, and I like the pattern still, so 
we'll keep it. This is some Zara. I actually wore this as a top like three summers ago when I lived in California. I would wear it as a crop top all the time, but it's definitely a bikini, I think. But cute. This is what we're working with right now and what we're selling. I did good. I just went to the mail room and I got some packages. And I wanted to share, I got, well, not like a whole lot, but I just got these two Beyond Yoga um, workout tops because, long story, I had workout all of my workout clothes stolen and I had a collection of these Beyond Yoga space dye tanks, like the cropped ones. I had so, I had these in like every color, but I got a lot, pretty much all of them stolen. So I've been trying to rebuild my <laughs> old collection that I had in then. And typically I wouldn't buy orange, but I have these orange shorts that I really want them to um, match with. And life hack, I these are about $60 or maybe $70. And that's a lot of money for a tank top. But I do have a life hack. If you want them on a discounted price, you can go on Poshmark. Um, and I will just do new with tags so it's not used. Because you don't really know when they're used. If they're going to be like too small or you know how people wash them and stuff. I just do new with tags. And usually it's like $10, $20 off. And if you're lucky, one time I got... Um, a brand new one with tags for twenty dollars. Yeah, so life hack if you want to get these um, Beyond Yoga tanks, they are amazing. And then this is the package I was the most excited about. I just opened it, but it's the Park Denim crossover jean shorts. I'm really trying to invest in my um, denim and staple pieces, and instead of buying Zara like I typically would, I bought, have a lot of Zara jean shorts and jeans. I'm trying to buy more upscale, expensive, but items that are going to last me forever. I just feel like Zara denim just never does, but all of my Goldie denim has lasted me since high school, or maybe high school is a stretch. I do still have a pair from high school, I just never wear them. Yeah, they last me a long time, that was the point, so. I, I think these are around 200, but I got them on sale for 100. Okay, I'm trying them on, moment of truth. Okay. Wait, I think I buttoned them kind of weird or something because they're kind of like bulging out right here. Okay, I just put them on the right way. I really like them, like I love the fit and I love how they, um, how the length is a little bit longer, but I'm just like a little confused with the this part is this supposed something feels wrong like i feel like i did something wrong well i'm gonna need like a day to wear these and then i will come back and review because i think they're really cute just sitting like this but then when i walk and stuff i just feel like they look kind of funky you see what i mean like they're denim shorts i'm mm, confused okay i will come back after I wear these for like a day and try them out. I think I did something wrong. I don't know. Maybe I should need to get used to them. Hello, so it is Saturday. Last night I had a chill night in with Claire and Lily, which is nice. I wasn't really feeling like going out. Oh, the lighting's kind of bad. But I'm about to go to the beach. I have on like this random outfit I just threw on really quick. I'm going to the beach with Claire. She's doing 75 hard, so she's not drinking this weekend. And a lot of our friends are going out for your St. Patrick's Day weekend. We might meet them out later, but I really did not feel like drinking this weekend. And she can't for her 75 hard. So we thought we'd go to the beach and get some sun because it's so pretty outside today. And then, I don't know, we'll see where the day takes us. Yeah, so I'll be back. I am cleaning out my closet today. I woke up in productive mode, so I love when that happens. I'm cleaning out my closet for spring, which is super fun, and I thought I would show you guys some of the stuff that I'm doing. It's just a little overwhelming right now, and so I was debating filming it, but it could be interesting. So I have all of these clothes, and I'm selling them on a closet account on Instagram that I have, and I sold most of these oh what is chuck? chuck has a cold too and i have to take him to the vet tomorrow it's so sad he's been coughing like a human being it's so weird but um i sold most of these and then most of these are i just posted okay wait so all of this i just posted on the instagram and i need to check back and see what i've sold and um what to ship out but yeah i think this is a pile where I'm debating, yeah, if I want to sell or not. I think I posted this skirt, though. 
I don't know if I want to sell this um, skirt. And then I have these linen shorts. And I'm debating about these shorts. I don't know if I like the pattern or not. What do you guys think? Should I sell these? We'll go to my closet. And then I have this big sack of clothes that I'm just going to give away. And I'm either going to give it to Goodwill or I'm going to probably take it to a few of my friends and my sister to see if they want any of it. And then give it away. These I'm giving away. All these bikinis. I have way too many bikinis I just don't wear anymore. So I need to do something with this. And then my closet is a disaster right now. Because I'm trying to figure out what I want to sell versus keep. Um, I'm also putting away my winter clothes in these little cubicles that I got. And there's a, a cubicle. It's like, what? I don't know why I just called them that. My goal is to build more of a capsule wardrobe and have a bunch of nicer pieces and throw out, you know, Zara. I have so many Zara skirts that are great for a capsule wardrobe, but they're also really bad quality and I never reach for them ever. So my goal is to throw all of that out, or not throw it out, but sell it or give it away and then invest in nicer pieces this year. Pieces that I would wear forever and I don't have to worry about ever going out of style. And Chuck's chewing on my tripod, so that's good. Right now, I'm working on filling up these bags with all my winter clothes and then unpacking all of my summer clothes. And then I'm going to go through my summer clothes and see what I want to sell. I'm doing my winter pants right now, if you can kind of see. Okay, you guys, we are getting somewhere. It's still kind of messy. I have these two bins full of clothes that I'm selling slash getting rid of. And then I also have a huge sack on my bed of clothes. But I'm proud of myself because I was able to fill all of this up with clothes on top of this huge sack right there. I'll show you the setup. So I have my sweatpants in this little cube. I have just extra bags in here. Um, this is just extra miscellaneous stuff. And then I have some sweaters and um, sweatshirts right here. And then I have the rest of my sweatshirts up here. It's still kind of unorganized, which is bothering me, but I think I'm gonna go, whenever I go home this weekend, I'm gonna get some more aesthetically pleasing bins to put all of this stuff in. But I have extra sweatshirts, jean shorts, um, those are bathing suit cover-ups, but I don't want to keep that up there for now. And then, let's see, I still have all my jackets for winter, and it's funny because yesterday, whenever I was doing this video and cleaning out all of my sweaters, like I packed all of them up and put them back here in this because I didn't know where to put it. I need to get a bin for all my sweaters too. It's funny because it's freezing today for the first time in forever. It's been so warm and sunny. I was just tanning, and now today it's like 50, 40s, so that's fun. But I have all my jackets that I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with those at some point. And then I have some button downs, more jackets, some dresses, um, vest. These are all short sleeve tank top shirts, um, blouses, and then long sleeves that I also need to pack up. But I'm gonna leave out for a few more weeks because it is still kind of cold. And then I'm leaving out these as well, those sweaters. And then we have pants and skirts all down here shorts shoes i haven't even begun figuring out but i feel like they're pretty organized now i mean i have these shoe organizers um oh this is behind my i have my some shoes up there bags it's just really hard because i feel like i have a huge closet but there's just still not enough space and i cleaned out so many clothes like so many bins of clothes. And I still feel like I need to clean out so many, like for example, this shirt. I've never worn this shirt and I don't ever see myself wearing it, but I want to keep it. Cause I'm like, what if it can make a cute costume or something like what? Like it's okay. I don't think it's terrible. I just don't know what I would wear with it. I struggle. I struggle with getting rid of clothes. I need like one of those professional organizers to just come help me. Also question. 
I am doing this 12 week gut health program with a holistic doctor here. I was wondering if I did a series on YouTube, if you guys would be interested in watching it. I actually talked to um, Tiffany, her name's Tiffany, and I was like, hey, I really like this. I, had, I think this is a great idea, but I do think that it could be super helpful for other people who are going through it. I think it could be really cool to share my gut health journey with you guys and hopefully it could help some of you. But let me know if you're interested. 